your spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins, so that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are worthy of flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways. Like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, you fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claws. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high? Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and like a sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, Untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your womb shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spur. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spur. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spur. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spur. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble. O God, you will not spur. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spur. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we the fair why do we and the Pharisees fast much? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. With one heart, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. For all members of the church, may God draw us ever closer to Him during the Lenten season. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For leaders of nations and all those in authority, may God guide them in governing and with wisdom and compassion. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For those who struggle with mental illness, may God's healing grace upon them. Come upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in us the fire of corporal works of mercy during this Lenten season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rejoice with God in their eternal home in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold deeply in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal Father, hear the prayers in which we have presented here before you. May they be answered in due time according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received and grant we are for you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer to you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will be found on spiritual journey. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifices your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We also, Lord, the sacrifice of our own observances. Pray that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our, add to our powers of self resilience through, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. And it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the thoughts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the name of the Lord. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Amen. your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but I will say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through the partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed by our misdeeds, and so be sued for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sorry about my tardiness this morning. I was on the phone trying to help someone, and it didn't work out too well, but I tried. <laughs> but we minister in the best ways we possibly can, especially during this season. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a great day.